If you're anything like me, your idea of a sports car is a pretty wide-ranging one, but it usually centers around things like the Porsche 911 or Chevy Corvette. Unfortunately, not all of us are lawyers or doctors or even editorial directors, and so we need options that are far more affordable. And luckily, there are plenty of those out there too. So without further ado, let's take a look at our top 10 sports cars for under 30 grand. Forget for just a minute the complaints you've heard about Toyota and Subaru's twin coupes being underpowered and in need of turbocharging, because when it comes to good old fashioned driving fun, these two are hard to beat. The jointly developed Toyobaru is a throwback to the lightweight, driver focused sports cars of yore, foregoing mounds of power in favor of a nimble and balanced ride. Output hovers around 200 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque, which isn't all that impressive, but it more than makes up for it with tons of fun at every turn. For a car that makes about as much horsepower as the Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ, the Ford Fiesta ST feels a whole hell of a lot faster and maybe even a bit more fun. Part of the credit goes to the Fiesta ST's go-kart-like proportions and torquey turbocharged engine, which help liven it up to a whole other level. But the best part about the Fiesta ST is that it's a ton of fun this side of the law. Tossing it into a corner at 30 miles an hour is rewarded with the same exhilaration that most cars feel at 50, which should help keep the tickets to a minimum. Moving on, the next car on our list is cut from the same two-letter cloth as the fun-loving Fiesta. While slightly more portly, the Focus ST makes up for it with a ton of additional output. With 252 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque on tap, the Focus easily hides its extra pounds without sacrificing fun. It's also far more family friendly than the Fiesta for just a few grand more. There might not be a better sports car on the planet regardless of price than the Mazda Miata. It's just a bonus that it's so damn affordable. If you thought the Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ were underpowered, then brace yourself because the Miata's only got a meager 155 ponies and 148 pound-feet of torque. Thankfully, it doesn't need much more than that and is king when it comes to smiles per mile. Unfortunately, the drop-dead gorgeous RF hardtop version doesn't make this list thanks to a premium that pushes the price tag above our $30,000 threshold. It is, however, pretty special and you'd be forgiven if you forego the soft top in favor for this hardtop version. Deserving of its own spot on this list is the Fiat 124 Spider, but we're not talking about any old Fiat here. Instead, it's the 124 Spider Abarth that's worthy of your hard-earned dollars. In fact, only 28,000 of them. Output from the tiny 1.4-liter turbo engine under the hood is still restricted to the same 184 pound-feet of torque found in non-ABART models to go along with 164 horsepower, but it's the transformation it makes from wine country cruiser to autocross extraordinaire that makes this ABART so spectacular. The next car on our list is the tamer of the two versions of Subaru's road-going Rally King, but it still packs quite a punch. If you haven't guessed by now, we're talking about the Subaru WRX. Its 2.0-liter boxer engine makes a healthy 268 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, all of which heads to the pavement through all four wheels. That's a far cry from the 305 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque made by the WRX STI, but this infection-free version is equally adept at rocketing around roads with reckless abandon, and it's far more usable as a daily driver. And of course, what list of affordable sports cars would be complete without the Volkswagen GTI? This is the hot hatch that started it all, and the GTI continues to be a shining example of fun affordability. 
There's also an argument to be made that the GTI is a better buy than the hopped up Golf R, but we'll save that for another day. The next two cars on our list are often criticized as being underpowered and overweight, but both can quickly prove otherwise. Of course, we're talking about the four-cylinder versions of the Ford Mustang and Chevy Camaro, two cars that epitomize the modern-day muscle car. The bowtie-clad Camaro gets its power from a 2-liter turbocharged motor that's good for 275 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, which is more than enough to motivate the hardtop version to 60 miles an hour in something around 5.5 seconds. Like the Camaro, the Mustang uses a turbocharged mill to make its power. The 2.3 liter is the same one found in the outrageous Focus RS and makes 310 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque, helping it sprint to 60 in about the same amount of time as the Camaro. Of course, some will say it's V8 or bust in a muscle car like these, and those people are what I like to call probably right. And finally, we can safely assume that the next version of the Honda Civic Si that's on its way very shortly will easily find its way onto our list. The last version wasn't all that spectacular and Honda's been putting in plenty of work to make up for it this time around. The pending SI uses the same 1.5 liter turbo engine available in the rest of the Civic lineup, with output cranked up to 205 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. It also gets a bunch of other performance upgrades intent on amping up the whole experience. From coupes to convertibles and compacts, our list of the top 10 sports cars for under 30 grand proves there's something for everyone out there. But best of all, all of our 10 picks can be had with manual gearboxes. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and check out some of our top 10 choices. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest news and reviews from autoguide.com.